Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's title, Wedding Bliss or Foolish Mistake. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Uh, let's move over to the disclaimer. Um, full disclaimer can be found down below. All content was found on a public domain. Use them under the fair use, fair dealing guidelines. Opinions are my own and may not be true. Please subscribe and set your notification bell. Let's go back and let's get started. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's raining where I am, but um, it's been needed and uh, I look forward to it. It's uh, very relaxing and um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the Sussex Duo. This is written by somebody on one of his uh, WordPress, an overinflated sense of importance. The people in the media haven't been impressed by the Sussex Duo, and during the past week, after a series of events of what some deem offensive rhetoric and actions, many are now voicing their displeasure, anger, and discontentment. Those who once gave them the benefit of the doubt can no longer excuse what appears to be a calculated and conscious actions. However, in doing so, people are being falsely accused of being racist and haters. Uh, it's been gradual, not one thing, but a series of events and actions that have led to this. Harry's questionable and hypocritical quotes on saving the planet and accusing a people of racism and Meghan Markle's sneaky and grandiose day-by-day, -day, week-long announcements of her collaboration with Vogue and other things that uh, she does. It just is... It's just crazy. I know I'm going to talk a little bit about their anniversary, but it's just other things that I found that um, I wanted to tell you. Um, let's see. Here we go. Harry Markle, WordPress. How fortunate uh, they are not in charge and that we do have free speech to express our opinions. This is something the cult fans fail to understand. A criticism doesn't mean hate. It means an action or something said that is questionable and that applies to everything in life. Just like what we YouTubers do when we talk about Harry and Meghan. It's just our opinions, our views, things that we read, things that hit home to us. Um, and we are just expressing our opinions. It says, are the uh, British public being censored when they express their dispro uh, disproval, approval Excuse me, at the behavior of the Sussex duo? Comments are deleted within Menix on the Daily Mail comment sections and the Sussex Royal Instagram page. Well, that's no longer, but I believe Megan's got a few different ones out there. Not racist or hate comments, but ones that just simply question what the duo say and do when the majority of the public disapprove. It appears that the reporters that once supported them and let them off can no longer spend things for them when they say stupid things and behave in a less than regal manner. While some accuse them of being racist, how when race isn't even mentioned or isn't the issue, perhaps finally they can see the truth behind this. And I saw the top of something there that is Megan's uh, woke vogue. <laughs> okay, um, let's go back. For a couple that cry out and demand privacy, it's ironic that they seem to be courting the press and social media on a daily basis. Where does one begin after last uh, week when Harry ap appeared to be doing a rush of engagements to pull away? Uh, oh, this is when he did the uh, Lion King. This is a little bit older, but it just talks about, you know, how their uh, their regal behavior, excessive hugging, whispering, spending t too long with Beyonce, and Beyonce, ignoring others, last opened uh, up a new wing in a hospital. Uh, that's all well and good, but wasn't it a bit rushed? A plague is usually a plaque is usually on the wall and unveiled there, not a child child height easel. But if it was a rush job, then that's the best they could do with few days notice, right? Okay. Um, he, we saw him go visit Jane Goodall Roots and Shoots program that was held in Windsor um, a while back where apparently Jane had also been interviewed by Harry uh, for Meghan Markle's Vogue project. Chris Alderton, uh, their private photographer, captured the images, but who knows uh, when they were actually taken. Most of this didn't hit the UK press, but the USA press instead, as the UK was busy covering the news of the new prime minister in the day. All right, so we'll get back more into theirs in just a moment. So we hear now that Harry and Meghan's Frogmore House neighbors um, are issued with do's and don'ts, uh, to which bans that they have 
uh, for talking to the royals, asking to see Archie, or petting their dogs. And this now stands also in L.A. All right, I'm going to go over to those in a minute. It's called the Meg Commandments. Let's go over. Thou shall not instigate conversation with the Duke, Duke and Duchess. Thou shall say good morning if they speak unto thee. Thou shalt not stroke their dogs, even if dogs presenteth themselves unto thee. Thou shalt not offer to walk the royal dogs. Thou shalt not ask to see the child Archie. Thou shalt not offer thy babysitting services. Thou shalt not post any item through the letterbox. Boy, boy, she does have some grandiose uh, sense of herself. They both do. It's a shame, Harry. It is a shame that you have married a woman that has changed who you are as a human being so that your morals have changed, your character has changed, and you've allowed this to happen. You're an adult, so you need to be held accountable for what you've done. All right, um, it just uh, goes on to say in this article a little bit about the simple fact that no one really cares and would probably ignore them if they saw them. Kate often goes for walks in the park in the gardens with her children or shopping where people stop to say hello, and she replies as a normal human being one, not as a movie star actress that is above talking to normal people. The Sussex duo are alienating themselves from the public because they think that they're better than others and they want to control who they wish to associate with and who to speak to. When did they get so big for um, <laughs> for their britches that they think that they are above anybody else? I don't care if Harry is a prince. He has no right and didn't do this in the past, at least not in the public. Disrespect people. Look down his nose at people and act as if he's too good to be talked to and uh, not to acknowledge him if you see him in his presence. That's Megan wanting to be put up on a pedestal and act like she's the queen herself. For some reason, she saw how the queen is treated and the protocol that surrounds the queen. Funny how she would want that followed for her when she never respected the protocol, never listened to the queen, and has done everything.